In the race for LA County Sheriff, the latest polling has retired Long Beach Police Chief Robert Luna with the early edge, 31%. Support compared with 27% for current LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva. But with more than two months of campaigning to go, the polling from UC Berkeley and the LA Times finds some 40% of voters still remain undecided. Sheriff, welcome. Good oh, to have thanks. you here. Yeah, good to be back. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we he heard those latest numbers there 40% undecided. What is your strategy in these remaining two months to capture those votes? Well, first, you got to recognize where the poll came from. It's the LA Times. We do in our own polling, we have an entirely different picture, and we're going to continue pressing the issue that matters to voters, not just the 40%, but everybody. Homelessness and violent crime. We have to have a united front, everybody working together, and that means instead of demonizing law enforcement and defunding us, how about working with us, shoulder to shoulder, to solve these two crises that we're confronting at the same time? Although you see Berkeley really the driving force behind that, that poll there. But, but, but let's get to really the contrast between you and Luna. It seems like this really comes down to a different approach on how to govern, right? You believe that the system is messed up and somebody needs to fight back, and he believes that we got to work within the system. He was on our show recently. Here's what he said. In order to properly govern, uh, you have to be able to communicate and work with the Board of Supervisors, with oversight, with our community, play nice in the sandbox, as they say. And yes, there are people who love the fight. There are people who love the drama, uh, but drama doesn't keep us safe. Of course, the board has all endorsed him. The mm -hmm. Democratic Party has endorsed him. Most of the establishment has endorsed him. A lot of your opponents say that's a reason to back you, <laughs> the fact that well, all these people are backing him. But what do you say to his basic criticism, though, that in order to uh, get more money for your department, get more people uh, as deputies, you got to play nice with the people that control the purse strings? Well, I'll tell you this. It's the height of dysfunctionality if the board of supervisor or their chosen puppet candidate is saying it's okay to defund law enforcement because we don't get along with him. How dare they? That is actually harming their own constituents. Physically, that's putting people and their life in jeopardy. A hiring freeze imposed on us where we are shrinking. As people are retiring and they're aging out, we're not replacing with young deputies as we should be. We're not replacing with kids from our own communities who are being denied the opportunity to be deputy sheriffs and earn that middle class job that would allow them to afford to live in L.A. County. We're not. We're doing all the bad things combined. We're turning a blind eye to homelessness. And what is my opponent's solution? Well, we got to do something different, but he can't even mention what it is because he has no plan. That's the whole point. He's a good country club candidate, but we need someone who's actually going to lead from the front. What about in this latest polling, and we know your take on the poll uh, outright, but in the latest polling that you uh, have an edge for the conservative voter, for more of the Republicans versus Luna, who is capturing more of the Democratic vote. You're a Democrat. That's what you ran on when you were elected sheriff. Yes. Uh, but three to one, Democrats are outnumbered, they, they lead in this county. There are more Democrats, so it could be just a numbers game. How do you get that vote back? Well, one thing is I'm the only one in this race who's a lifelong Democrat. I'm of the Democrat of the party of JFK and FDR. Not this bizarre last two-year thing of let's get rid of all cops because they're bad. And let's get rid of the criminal justice system because it's inherently racist. Let's not hold anybody accountable. How's that working for everybody? If my opponent wants to embrace that, good luck with that plan. I'm going to stick with what's going to keep people safe. But how do you convince some of those Democrats that may be skeptical, that are used to following what the party says? Because last time around, the party said vote for you. Mm -hmm. And then they did in large numbers. Now they're saying not to vote for you. How do you convince those people? Because there are a lot of them in Southern California. Well, it's pretty simple, actually. All you got to do is walk out your front door, take your drive to work or to school. How safe do you feel? And you tell me what policy from the establishment Democratic Party politicians in office today, you tell me one policy that has worked and, oh, my God, we got to keep doing that. There's only one thing that's been effective. The homeless outreach service team, my approach to homelessness, it works. It worked in Venice, it worked in Overa Street. Everywhere we've done it, it worked. You'd think everybody else would embrace it. 
but they can't because they have to oppose because that's what they do. They're politicians. Well, you and Luna uh, had your own debate. Uh, this was hosted by the Sherman Oaks Homeowners Association not long ago. This was moderated by our Phil Schumann. In the closing remarks, things got a little contentious again between you and Luna, and here's that moment there. To fight everything. Uh, I'm not going to be, he calls himself a maverick. Who in the heck wants a maverick as their sheriff? Uh, that is not acceptable. Well, there's an old saying that an, an army of lambs led by a lion will always defeat an army of lions led by a lamb. There you have the lamb right there. The All right, Phil, out to you. This was moderated by yourself, of course. So, Sheriff, um, it seems like you're always playing the victim. The Board of Supervisors is against me. Everyone wants to defund law enforcement, get rid of police. Um, the Inspector General is against me. Luna is against me. I mean, do you feel that that works to your advantage when it comes to appealing to voters? Well, you have to look at what the establishment represents. They spent six and a half billion dollars on the homeless crisis in 10 years. They saw the problem double in size. This is the same political establishment, the supervisor that appoints the inspector general, the oversight commission, and all endorsed their puppet, Luna. Of course, they're all going to agree. However, you talk to the average person on the street, go to any subway, talk to them. Do you want to see more deputies or less deputies? And they all say, we want to see twice as many. The people who count are the ones that are voting, and that's the average person is impacted by the failures of the board of supervisors that we're seeing right now. So then why are 40% of the people still undecided if you accept the results of that poll, which, as you mentioned, is one of, done by in conjunction with one of your perceived enemies, the L.A. Times? Why are 40% so undecided if it's so clear to you? Well, when you have the entire apparatus of county government lobbying against you since the day you took office, that has obviously has negative consequences. But when you start separating fact from fiction, yes. ICE is gone from the jails. We have the body-worn cameras. I have the most diverse law enforcement agency top to bottom in the nation, whereas my opponent's agency looks like us in 1962 now, not 1992. So there are stark differences between the two of us. The voters are going to know very well what's at stake here in this race. Uh, let, let's talk about another issue that, that just happened recently, which was the verdict in the Vanessa Bryant case. This was not just the sheriff's department, it was also the L.A. Fire Department. This idea of pictures being shared internally amongst people afterwards and, and one picture being shared at a bar never went out publicly uh, in terms of out to the media. Um, she's winning $15 million, uh, her friend 16, or she winning $16 million, her friend winning $15 million. What's your big reaction to that? Do you think uh, it should be appealed? I believe it is going to be appealed. I believe the county has already set into motion the, the appeal of it. But I think the decisions we made, the initial things that deputies took on their own misconduct, it happened. It was addressed appropriately, but most importantly, there was no game plan. How do you fix this? The decision I made early on is the only reason why there are no pictures anywhere. So it worked, and the tragedy happened. We can't undo that, and our heart goes out to all the victims of this tragedy. But if we focus on the big picture, they don't exist for a reason because we took the right action. And as far as you understand, that an appeal is in the works? Yes. Okay. All right, Sheriff Inouye, always great to see you. Yes, uh, nice hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more of you and Robert Luna in the weeks ahead. Again, we said we just had him on last week. If people want to look at that, they can look at that at YouTube. We appreciate you sharing your perspective. Uh, it's going to be a fun few months. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guarantee you. So